Let's keep going. I just got warmed up, brother. There's so many other manifestations of God that's got to come through. Discover the supernatural seems different from the anointing. And it is. It's all a part and it's all one. Learn how to trace the anointing back to the face of God. Learn how to trace the supernatural back to the face of God. Learn how to chase the devil, all these demons, spiritual warfare, all the knowledge you learn, everything in life, religion, spirituality. Learn how to trace it all back to the Father. Learn in the Holy Spirit, spiritual, true spirituality is unifying things. Union. Wherever there is unity, the Holy Spirit flows. But the Lord is starting to take me into the supernatural. I know about the anointing, the power, knowledge, but he's starting to take me into the supernatural. Teaching me how to leverage power. Teaching me the melody and the rhythm of the spirit. And it's really an inward working that has to take place that the Holy, only the Holy Spirit can do. I don't care if you're the most known meditation teacher. I don't care if you meditate more than anybody. I don't care how many spiritual accolades you have on your wall. Only the Holy Spirit can do this type of work in you. Only the Holy Spirit. You can be in church, but not the kingdom. <laughs> That's powerful, ain't it? Guy activated different types of beast, preparing way coming for Jesus Christ. Last beast guy with strength hesitated to activate him. But finally did. Flew in air. I have no clue what I just said. I don't even remember that one. But in the unknown, when I don't know, that's when the Lord arises. You always want to be right. But when you say something, you're not sure of the correction. See, the Lord's not you're right or you're wrong. The Lord is the correction. There's always correction. The Lord never says, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, that's rejection. When you say you're wrong, that's rejection. Jesus never said, you're wrong. That's rejection. Demons manifest in that. Pride manifests in that. The barrier gets stronger on a person's heart when you say you're wrong. Correction. Stop being afraid to be wrong. You're still in that state of religion and it's quenching you. I destroyed off your mind with the Holy Ghost and fire. The Lord gave me a business idea and I know it's from him because he keeps bringing it to my attention. And I, I know it's, I keep seeing the divine line on an organic Christian cleaning company, Christian organic house cleaning. You know, how people will charge you $30, $40 just to cut your lawn. We'll clean your whole house, your roof, cut your lawn. Decorate your house, cleanse it spiritually, cast every demon out of there for $20. And that $20 is only for a seed to sow into the kingdom. <laughs> the Lord gave me that business. I'm already a billionaire. The Lord wants me a million. I'm already a billionaire. Spiritually, mentally, physically, I'm already an infinite currency. I have billions and billions of dollars in my bank account. How do I say I'm not? Because you check something in the physical realm. See, I'm going to give you a key right now. This is on the infinite currency. You're going to have to check that out. Right now, I have a spiritual credit card. $40,000. I build a church. I build a dynasty. I build a kingdom. I just did it right now. Cleansing angels. Saw many angels cleaning, sweeping out my spiritual house. That was a vision I had. Animation. Watch Christian animations. I'm going to start putting things in my link in the descriptions of all the sites I go to, the free trials you can use that don't cost any money. I have Living Scriptures. It's a website. It's kind of like Netflix. But it's all in animations. And when I just watch the animations of the Bible, the animations of Jesus Christ, animations of spiritual warfare, it does something to me supernaturally and spiritually. Animation is a spirit. But animation is the reality of what's taking place beyond the naked eye. So I encourage you, watch animation, Bible animation videos.
See, I love coming to this channel because I get direct revelation from God, not just knowledge to release, but when I release, God presents. See, I didn't know that before. The Lord just showed me that. When I release from a pure heart, everything God has shown me, the revelation, I'm not trying to make money. When I release, God presents. When I release, God presents. Oh, I feel this. I feel more free. I feel this weight coming off of me. This. See, now, before you would make, don't ever limit nothing. Well, I can't do that because I got to wait till I write this book. Give all you have in that moment. This is what will happen. You will constantly increase. Soon you'll be making one hour videos like it's nothing each day. Then you'll be making three hour videos. Then you'll be making five hour videos. Then you'll be making seven hour videos each day. And you're like, wait a minute, how is he getting all this revelation, all this knowledge? And he's giving, he's putting literally 15 audio books of power, 70 books of power, 15 realms of knowledge, all prophecies in one video. And he's giving it all away for free and he's doing it over, but 10 times stronger each time. Because the world will tell you to withhold. But in the spirit realm, the more you give, the more you receive. I remember years ago, I'd watch people, these great men of God, and they would always be making four or five hour videos every day. I'm like, how do they do that? And every time their videos would be new knowledge, new power, more fascinating revelation. I'm like, how is that possible? Because that the more you give, the more you receive. Spirit realm is eternity. God's knowledge never runs out. There's never going to be a time, you know, people always go to the pinnacles of the great people. But I say go to the pinnacle of the Father and be the new greatness. That's Jesus talking, baby. And I don't even reckon, I'm at a point now, I don't even recognize Matthew Smith anymore. I don't even recognize my physical flesh. Like I was at 70%, but now all I recognize is Jesus. The Holy Spirit has literally been working on me behind the scenes, smiling rejoicing while he was molding me, pruning me, correcting me, coming back to me. I love the Holy Spirit. Epitomies of the Spirit. Okay, let's keep going. Wow, this is amazing. I feel God's presence. I feel the Holy Spirit inside of me. I feel uh, fulfillment. No money could amount to this because right now I'm releasing eternity and revelation and God's kingdom is being manifested in this moment. And all these prayers I'm saying, these declarations, it's all taking place in eternity. This will be remembered by my Father forever. And millions of souls will be touched by this. And we will worship our God forever. I know you feel the presence of the Lord. The deeper you go in this artifact, it's only going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Hidden wisdom is going to come to you. Angels are going to come to you. Your spirit vision is going to activate. Before I was trying to make a videos, I'd make prayer videos, but now I'm making them where I pour out my heart, my soul, until I fully release in one artifact, in one presentation. Whether it's 10 hours, whether it's 15. And then I say everything I've done, that's only 1%. Every time you smile at it, I'll send missiles to the demon of lust coming against you. After so long in going to war with lust, God has given me supernatural abilities. He's given me supernatural strengths. He's given me supernatural powers in my mind. He's given me supernatural psychological abilities against lust and against deep. <laughs> and now you are receiving the riches of it. I release it to you. Demons of lust can't touch me. I actually have automatic systems, automatic power that the Holy Spirit does because I asked them for that. And as I testify and we pray, it will be released to you. This is secret stuff. See, there's secret things in the God in, in the Godhead that I can't I can't talk about. I can't release. The secrets, he says, his secrets are with those that fear him. God has so many secrets, and these secrets I can't really. I don't know yet. But that there's so many of them. When you know these secrets. And they're not hidden because God hides them from you. They're open, but only the fear of the Lord gives you access to that open realm. Yes, Jesus. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Yeah, but there's automatic weapons. 
Ask the Holy Spirit to give you automatic weapons against Satan. But you need to learn in your walk with the Holy Spirit, spiritual warfare, anything, you need to learn to be direct and specific. Holy Spirit, give, give us a direct and specific tongue. You need to be direct. So many, there's so many demons you don't, you're not overcoming and you're upset with God, but you're not being direct and you're not being direct against that demon. You're not being specific against that spirit. So you're going over here and you're praying and you have power over here, knowledge and all this fruit over here, but you're not being specific and you're not confronting the demon. You're avoiding. Another thing the Lord delivered me from was the spirit of avoidance. I was avoiding many things in my life. See, this is the thing. You can go over here, like in a video game, and keep leveling up, keep experiencing God over here, keep having revelation over here, but there's a demon right here and you're not confronting it. And even though you feel comfortable, you're getting all this knowledge and revelation over here, this one spirit stands in your way from going further in your destiny. Okay? Don't ever stay in your comfort zone. Never, ever stay in your comfort zone. Now, I don't care how much power you feel, don't ever stay in your comfort zone. But look, I love these automatic weapons and the Holy Spirit. Study that. Research that. Ask the Holy Spirit for that. And it will fascinate you. It'll be so delicious. Your life will be changed right now. A piece of paper cannot do this for you. It's the spirit of life within you that can. You have $750 trillion. Man, that infinite currency is powerful. It's a, it's, a, it's a realm God has given me that I specialize in, that I'm enthroned upon, that I reign in as a king and priest of my God. It's one of my heavenly rewards. The Lord also told me, he said, I'm rewarding you for your dedication to me. God speaks instantly and silently. That's one of the infinite ways God speaks to me. God speaks through you like he's doing right now and he speaks to you in you. God likes to demonstrate though. So a lot of times you want to hear God speak. He says, I will show you better than talking. I'm going to show you that I love you. You have to learn to ask God for specific things and it will automatically happen. Father, show me that you love me. Show me you care about me. Show me you're my provider. Show me your glory. You have these specific desires in your heart, but because your mind's like, well, I can't see your mind is a liar. Well, I shouldn't say that. God don't want to hear that. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. God won't think I have faith. Man, you need to shut this thing up. The Lord also gave me a new power. Like my mind is silent now and I'm beginning to operate from my innermost being. We're starting to get somewhere now in the spirit. See this I gain, but this. Is destiny right here this is manifestation right here this is the glory right here this is the moment we've all been waiting for right here give God all the glory Paul was so advanced because he spoke in tongues so much don't ever water down the gifts of the Spirit if Jesus said fast don't ever say all oh, fast is not a big deal don't ever say that you're watering down what the Lord said Jesus said, speak in tongues, new tongues I'll give you. Don't water that down. What's speaking in tongues isn't that important. Don't ever water down scripture, please. It's dangerous. You can be very powerful, but be very foolish too. You can be very powerful, but very crooked as well. You can be very powerful. Did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast demons out? Did we not do many wonders and miracles and have knowledge? Depart from me, I never knew you. You can be very powerful, but blind. If you don't have intimacy with God, you're nothing. If you understand all the angelic mysteries, all the knowledge, if you sacrifice, get your head get set on fire, die for the Lord, but you have love, you don't have love, you don't have intimacy with the Father and the people. You don't love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. You're nothing. That's what the Bible says. Oh, I like that right there. We're gonna go back to that. I'm releasing. Everything that I release on this channel are visions, supernatural encounters, experiential knowledge I have with God, things that have changed my life eternally, not just some, oh, you're going to be motivated, you might make some money. Yeah, no, these, this is eternity right here. Okay, you will carry this forever. Stay and enjoy and eat and feast. I love fasting. 
God has given me a special grace for fasting. Longer periods, extensions. And I'll release that same grace to you. See, it's in your power as the man of God to release. Not always in God's power. It's in your power to release. It's in the power of your tongue. Jesus said, your faith has healed you. The Bible says, death and life are in the power of your tongue. See, you have power. You always want God, God, there, but God says, I've given, already given you the power. You don't have to ask for money. You don't have to, you command it and you go and take it. A lot of times we'll command it. We, we finally get to that level where we, where we learn how to use our authority. Then it comes about, but now you got to go take it violently. The violent take it by force. You take opportunity violently. You take your next level with God violently. Violent lovingly and violently devastation against demons. When you're in the third heaven glory, you no longer talk about spiritual warfare. Like Satan doesn't even exist in that realm. Demons don't even exist in that realm. Angels are like, what are you talking about? In the third heaven glory, it's, it's just God. It's back to God. It's back to all purity. It's back to all origins. There is no evil in God. There is no darkness in God. There is no, sat there is no satanic power in God. So when you're in God, third heaven, the devil can't even be there. Okay? The devil can't be in God. Okay? See, before I was afraid to say that right there. I was kind of afraid. I've learned not to be afraid just to release, but now that I released that, I wasn't afraid to say it. God just elevated me right there because that was one thing that he wanted me to say, but there was like fear on it. And I was like, well, I can't say that because the devil goes before God's throne. Blah, 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 blah. Stop explaining yourself. Don't be afraid. Right now in this moment, you cannot be wrong. I love this channel too because I get to exercise my gifts. I get to exercise my potential. There is no being wrong. Thinking you're going to be wrong quenches you. Quenches the spirit, quenches you. There are so much things in the Holy Spirit that wants to flow through you. Man. If we're able to obtain all this in the spirit and gain all this, man.